One of the tools that's changed a little bit in and out is the job estimation tool. And if we uh, have some geometries on screen here with the toolpath applied, um, I'll see that uh, if I look quickly at this, I have a, a toolpath depth of 0.52 and I have a, a material depth of 0.5 inches. So I'm just doing some simple cutout shapes here with a lead in, lead out. Uh, if I go to the machining menu and go to statistics, I will bring up now a a Windows-based XML statistics function rather than the previous text-based function. So we're doing things a little bit different in that regard. And that's going to allow us to uh, make some additional changes such as adding customer logos and and uh, and specifying the color of the form and, and maybe adding some, some information about tooling and, and such things. So uh, this is a first step towards improving the job statistics format. And you see here the representation is you have a general category. This will just give you your time and the, and the date, uh, some information about line counts and rapid movements. And uh, more importantly, down here, you might have distance covered in and outside of the material and the total time for a job. So uh, we give you a factor that you can use. If you feel that the times that you're getting here are, are not representative and maybe you need to increase your overall time, uh, you can go to your uh, Windows Explorer and go to your Enroute folder and look for the job estimator INI file. And if you don't see your extensions, you just want the job estimator file that's a configuration setting. We're going to double click this and here we'll see there's a factor that can be used. So uh, I'm going to increase this a little bit from 1.3 to 1.5 and I'm going to save this change when I close the program. Now when I come back here with the same file on screen, if I go to machining statistics, we'll see that uh, our time is just a little bit longer because we increased the factor. So you do have a factor that you can use to get a little bit more accurate with some trial and error. Uh, and this doesn't really tell you the depth so much as it tells you the time estimation. Uh, we do have a capability here with the back, back plot program. And this program is part of, uh, part of one of the solutions we provide, back plot. And if you open up back plot, uh, you can actually take a look at the output file and get more depth information. So here, let's create some output and say to file. We'll call this parts and we'll overwrite our existing parts file. And we'll go to the back plot program and say file, open, and open up the parts file. And here we'll see everything on screen. Uh, red lines indicate arcs, straight lines are blue and, and indicate straight line movements. And uh, here you can see some 3D entry exit points where there's a few points. If I go to the view menu and statistics here, that will tell me that uh, my maximum travel is a half inch into the material and my minimum travel was a quarter inch above zero for my Z lift value. So this, this information is gonna tell you more about depth, whereas the machining statistics will tell you a little bit more about the estimated time of the cut. Now these are some of the changes uh, in Route 5 with regard to the job statistics.